hey everyone um, so in this tutorial we would just um, try to modify the existing report that we just made in our last tutorial we will try to make it a parameterized report and you know try to explore how to add parameters to a report and how to um, kind of um, you know give it some default values and so on and so forth so let me just run this report for now uh, let me just make sure that don't have anything over here and if I just run this report you see that you know this is the same thing that we uh, saw in our last tutorial so what we are going to do right now is add a parameter to this so the simplest way is modify this you know modify the query you say that where territory ID oops let me just make sure the and I just add a parameter as though I would do in our normal stored procedure so once I do that you see that in the parameters section it adds a parameter so it basically identified that your query requires a parameter and then automatically added it to the parameters folder if you double click on that one you see that a couple of options have been set for you like the data type and so on and so forth you have the available values what should be the default values and so on and so forth so for now let us just run this report and see you now what we get as the output let us just see what happens for territory id 3 and territory id 6 and so on and so forth so you see that you know this has been filtered down to just show you the territory id which is um, the one that you have defined in the um, filters now there may be cases where you would like to have a drop down right you'd like to pull the values from a query something like select the distinct territory ids from the customer table and that should give you something like 1 to 20 or something like that and you would like to have it displayed in a drop down so that the user doesn't have to think as to you know kind of what should you type in so for that what i'm going to do is i'm going to add one more data set i'm going to call this as parameter underscore territory id you can just give it any name you want and what i'm going to do is i'm going to use the same connection and build a query out of it let's follow the same drill let's add customer table and now i'm going to just add the territory id and let me just add the distinct territory id okay so once this has been done you see that you know you have a data set which just selects the distinct territory ids so what i'm going to do over here is i'm going to uh, utilize this data set which i just made so if you click on available values there is an option called specify values or get values from a query I'm going to use that i'm going to choose the parameter territory id data set that we just created and i'm going to use the territory ids as the value field and the label field once we are done with this let's click on preview now we find i no longer have a text box but you have a drop down in which you can select a territory id and then you know kind of view a report on this so you know this becomes more intuitive like the person doesn't have to think as to what should he type in so just imagine if you have five to six such parameters and then you know you find that everything is just a text box and uh, this really confuses the user so it's it's best to have something like this wherein the user doesn't have to think too much um you know so yeah that's it i wanted to show you in this tutorial in the coming tutorial probably what we'll do is we'll try to cover something like how can we make a cascaded parameter list over here thank you